right then, we have a really packed day. Um, it's one of my bad habits is I try and squeeze in as much as I can in this one day because it's a pretty big community these days and there's lots of things going on. So I'm gonna get started right away. For those of you who don't know me, um, <laughs> don't worry, by the end of the day you will and you will have volunteered for something. Um, my name is Diane Mueller. Uh, I'm the community manager for OpenShift and the director of community development at Red Hat for OpenShift. Um, you can find me online as Python DJ, which gives away my, my loves, and um, OpenShift Commons. And so today we have a hashtag for the event. If you're taking pictures or sending anything out there to the universe, it is um, OC Gathering Austin. Um, and we also, for all of those of you who are out there in Facebook land, are attempting to live stream this. So everything here will be on the Facebook slash OpenShip page. Um, and you can find it from our landing page for this event as well. So welcome to everybody who's watching from um, Facebook land. We're really thrilled to be doing that. Um, and all of the recordings will also, for each of the sessions, will be broken up separately and put up on the OpenShift Commons um, landing page. So you can watch those later or on Facebook as larger groups. So today, you're going to hear a lot about OpenShift in action. We have a number of folks who have OpenShift deployments who are coming to give case studies or be on panels from lots of different sectors. So um, we're really pleased and grateful that everyone has um, volunteered their time and come here. So um, it's been a wonderful year for OpenShift, a lot of growth. And we've done a lot of work in the upstreams as well. We have a number of people from different um, parts of the Kubernetes community that will be on the upstream this panel. We have folks coming from um, Google and from Amazon and from Microsoft um, talking about their clouds and what we're doing with OpenShift on their clouds and what they're doing um, in their clouds with Kubernetes as well. So there's a lot of cool stuff. At the end of the day, we have um, a wonderful panel planned for you um, on machine learning um, that's been pretty exciting to organize. So lots of you have heard about us at Red Hat. Our favorite catchphrase these days is all about digital transformation. And we talk about it in terms of applications and platforms and processes. But I would have that there's also another transformation that's coming. And it's in the way that we organize our open source communities. And uh, we have done a lot of work um, with OpenShift over the past couple of years as we've pivoted to embrace the Kubernetes community and doing a lot of collaboration with the upstream projects. And really what we're trying to do um, as a community is reach out to you, um, the folks who have OpenShift in production, the people who are contributing code to OpenShift origin, the people in the upstream projects, all of our partners who are building services that run on top of OpenShift with OpenShift applications who help us with storage, all kinds of things around security. Um, we're really trying to drive our collaboration to be much more in the open and to make sure that we get the benefits of this open source revolution that's been going on. And what you'll see from, from our point of view um, in Red Hat OpenShift um, land is that we're feel, it feels a lot like we're pulling a lot from a lot of other projects and we push them out into um, origin which then feeds into our enterprise offering into OpenShift dedicated and OpenShift online. But e really the heart of everything is out there on GitHub. Everything you need to run OpenShift is in the origin repo on GitHub. It's out there in the open. And really what we're pushing today and what we're really trying to get you to understand is this new model for collaboration that it's not just from a community manager's point of view about trying to coerce you all into contributing code to origin. We want you to contribute code to everything. We want you to use everything, all the tools that our partners are bringing to bear for the applications you're running, all of the underpinnings that the hosts are, are using, and we want your feedback. So today it's really important that you realize that it's coming from all directions, from underneath infrastructure from on top on the services and we're pulling all of those things into a conversation which we feel that OpenShift today and Kubernetes over the next couple of days at KubeCon is really the linchpin for um, those conversations. So really I want to talk a little bit about what Commons is and 
Um, I've said, talked about it in terms of being a new community model because it embraces not just the code contribution people, the engineers, um, but it, the users, the service providers, the hosts, all of the upstream project leads. And what we really feel, and I really feel strongly, is, is that what we are is a communication channel, trying to hook you all up to each other and introduce each of you to each other and to start those conversations going. Because what we're really trying to do is not just promote OpenShift, which we know you all love because you've tripled in size the audience since the first time we had our first gathering in Seattle, but to really to promote the peer-to-peer -peer interactions um, within this convers these conversations here and virtually as well. So doing that, uh, we have set up, and if you're not on the Slack channel yet, is Jason in the room? Is, not J is Jay Doby? I think he might be outside doing, there's a gentleman um, who's the only Red Hatter wearing a Docker t-shirt. Um, he is our Slack admin for the day. If you're not on the, op the OpenShift Com Commons Slack channel yet, um, find him on one of the breaks and get in to the Slack channel today. We'll just put you in. One tenant we have of the OpenShift Commons is we're not anonymous. Um, some of you may have seen some of my rants online and places, but I think um, one of the things that really promotes the peer-to-peer -peer interactions is self-identifying so that people know who your corporate masters are, what your agendas are. None of that's hidden. It's all out in the open. So I do ask that you join using um, your, your actual uh, corporate email addresses and, and name yourselves so that people can find you. It makes it really um, nice and easy to do it. We also have been doing a lot of OpenShift Commons briefings. We just did our 110th one. Um, I feel like a TV channel some days. Uh, we just did one on TensorFlow with Subin, uh, and that's been a real hot topic for us. But if you have a topic that you want to hear about, that you don't hear about today, come and find me, especially if you can do the presentation. I love to hear new topics. Uh, we have some special interest groups. If you go to commons.openshift.org and scroll halfway down the page, you'll see a whole slew of them. And we're launching the machine learning one here at the end of the day, too. Um, we always will take your code contributions. Please make a pull request, log an issue, uh, go on Stack Overflow, answer a question. Uh, and there's lots of mailing lists that we can get you involved in. So find me over the next day. I'll be here through all of KubeCon as well. I'm easy to find. That said, this is um, amazing. And I'm really grateful that all of you came today. There have been, there's such a huge uptick right now in interest in OpenShift and Kubernetes and what we're doing with containers um, and the OCI work we're doing, the work that's going on in CNCF, uh, that I'm just internally grateful for the level of interest in this, and um, hopefully we can scale, and I can clone myself a few times, but we've had lots of people just in the last 60 days, over 20 new organizations join the OpenShift Commons, and so welcome to all of you. A lot of you are in the room, and this is your first time. Uh, it's also quite global. Uh, we are everywhere. Any time I turn around, any time I want to go on a travel or a vacation, uh, there's always somebody I can knock on their door and ask to go for a coffee or something. And I'm hoping that you will all do the same thing, too, and reach out to your peers. There are now 315 organizations. There's a number of folks in um, the OpenShift Commons who are, the, the, are not allowed to be public. So there's a few of you in the room, um, though a few of them are going to be outing themselves on the Gov on OpenShift panel today. So uh, that'll be fun. And we try and accommodate everybody depending on their privacy stuff in the commons as well. So it's really about participation. And if you need help getting it through your legal, we'll, we'll work on that as well. But really, the future for us is really about um, collaboration. Collaboration in the upstream, you, you all know um, that Red Hat has been a big contributor to Kubernetes, pushing a lot of the functionality um, that we built out for OpenShift v2 um, and functions, functions and features and things that we um, grew and loved with v2 and moved into v3, but also have contributed back into Kubernetes. And there's a lot of, it's not just about Red Hat. There's some Huawei folks in the room. There's a lot of customers that have been um, pushing stuff in. And there's a lot of new projects. Uh, the CNCF is doing a lot of great work. Uh, there'll be 
live all next, the rest of the week tooting their horns, but we should toot it for them as well. Uh, when I took this snapshot last year, there were like only, f I think, five um, projects that were under their wings now, and now um, every time I turn around, there's a new project. So there's a lot of contributions from a lot of other com companies. It's j not just about Red Hat, but um, we're happy to be there. Uh, yeah, I did do a count. There are 45 member organizations in the room. There's a lot of you who are members, and there are a lot of you who aren't. So if you'd like to join, um, please reach out to me and find me today, and I'll, I'll get you all hooked up. Um, but really, the interesting thing is, uh, as a community manager, traditionally my job is trying to rope you into giving um, contributions. And when I gave up that goal, like when I gave up trying to beg you all to give Contrib contribute code to origin and to the features that we were trying to drive into it and started embracing the greater ecosystem as being community, it really did an interesting thing. It ended up um, driving us from about five to ten organizations contributing to OpenShift origin into over 70. So this new model is actually working really nicely for us. Um, and it's pull requests, it's issues, it's feedback, Everything has um, been very helpful, and so please keep, keep it up. It's a very active um, group, and Biturgia is one of our dashboards, the stack analytics, all of this stuff is public. Um, and we're continuing to add new developers all the time to the Origin project, as well as lend our expertise and resources to the other projects under the CNCF and outside of it at OCI and on other projects. Um, we're really um, amazed at the amount of collaboration that's going on in the open source world these days, and we're really happy to be part of it. So it's not just about OpenShift, it's about all of the things that we use with OpenShift, all of the services that you folks are providing. This is really what the future looks like. The future is all about continuous collaboration. We use CI, CD all the time in our processes for software development. But I would say that the virtualization of our social networks and the, the access to everything that we have is really helping us push the envelope in scaling ourselves as resources, though maybe not me enough. But um, we'll try and keep those channels open and keep those uh, things doing so that you're all part of this wonderful universe that is OpenShift as well as all the upstream projects. So that brings us to today. Um, it really is about your participation, about you meeting the people next to you, uh, scrambling it up at lunchtime, looking for different topics to talk about, seeking out your peers, um, and giving us your feedback. One of the tenets of the case studies and the panels that are being um, presented here today is we're asking for your feedback. We have product managers and engineers um, from the Red Hat team and from the community that are here in the room that are listening for what is the new feature you want in OpenShift? What is the next thing you want to see in Kubernetes or in Creo or in one of the other projects? So feel free to grumble if you have to, but we will put you to work. So we've had a couple of shifts in the agenda. Um, so the piece of paper that everybody got handed out has m only one thing. We've moved the Kubernetes 1.8 down a little bit, so the agenda will go slightly um, uh, off base to uh, accommodate another event that's happening here today. The Kubernetes um, Contributor Summit is happening in parallel, which makes it more amazing that all of you are here because I know a number of you and a number of the folks at the Kubernetes Contributor Summit wanted to be here too, so it, thank you for your time here. Um, so Aperna will come on after the digital, the Telus Digital folks. And I love that the Telus Digital folks are here because I'm Canadian and they are my Canadian telco. So I'm thrilled so I can complain to them about my service, which is actually pretty excellent. Um, but it's going to be a, a nice, wonderful day. Yeah, they're over there. It is. I have a good story for you about Telus. They're, they're awesome. Um, and the afternoon is packed too. So the one thing we didn't do, we didn't put a break in um, the morning. So if you need a bio break, politely stand up and go out and grab a coffee. There's an espresso machine out there that NetApps, um, I believe it's NetApps is sponsored. Um, so we're really grateful for that because we need that caffeine. But in the afternoon, there will be a break um, and we have a cookie break that I think it's Aquasec is doing the, um, 
the cookie break in the afternoon. So there will be a break. We will let you coalesce there. And in the evening, there will be a reception with beer and fun things like that. And then afterwards, Diane will collapse. Um, I want to thank all of our sponsors. This is the first time we've done sponsoring for this community event, and everybody really did step up. We really are grateful to all of you. When you're in the lunchroom and in your, you're in the reception area, um, please visit them. They're doing some great work. All of them have been doing Open Shift Commons briefings. They're all, some, a couple of them are brand new <coughs> to the community. Um, and we really hope that you'll support them and ask them good questions and give them your feedback on their offerings. So lunch, again, um, is going to be in the room right behind me. It's really about you networking, so I'm going to ask you to really try and reach out and meet somebody that you didn't come here with. Um, you don't have to go home with them. Just, just meet somebody, that's all. And then um, we're going to start the, um, the beer and the networking event, um, and it's going to be hosted by the, uh, most of the OpenShift team will be here with you, so you can pepper them with questions as well. So let's get started. This is um, the wrong hashtag. It should be OC Gathering Austin as opposed to 2017. I'm going to bring um, Chris Wright up here and get him started here. I'm going to reiterate the Wi-Fi passcode one more time in case you didn't hear it because more of you are in the room now. It's the Hilton meeting is the Wi-Fi and the password is OpenShift 2017. And for your Facebook people, I'm sorry, um, that's not going to work for you in your homes. But please um, do give us your questions and talk to us on Facebook and share it out because um, we're happy to, to have you all with us. So Chris, come on up. 